Welcome to round two of the Revenge of Shinobi. We're in Tokyo. I guess. This is where things get very tricky, and it's sort of an analog to Ninja Gaiden for the NES. Um, we have flying ninjas now, I for some reason or another. When Shinobi gets hit, he gets knocked back, and more often than not, he'll fall into a pit like that idiot ninja just jumped into. Problemless splits are, of course, fatal. I didn't need to tell you that, though, did I? So, I think a big problem is this stage is oriented both horizontally and very vertically, and it's a little tough to drop down and see where the floor is and isn't, which I think is lame. Um, we have a lot of tough jumps here that we have to make use of the somersault move with. Again, the timing's kind of tight on it, as you can see, so don't mess that up. Hey! And unfortunately, I landed on a projectile here, so I lost my POW power up. I told you this wasn't going to be a no-hit run. I'm, I'm not that good, but if anybody would like to try a no-hit run of uh, Revenge of Shinobi, please, by all means. I ain't stopping you. This guy below me's a pain, and that box that was on the branch before was a bomb. One big problem is the AI on Shinobi himself is a little messed up, and if you're anywhere near a box, even if you're not aimed at the box, he'll always use his melee attack, so there's just instances where there's an enemy in front of you, and if you're on top of a box, and you're not oriented just the right way, he'll just kind of use his dagger in front of him like a jerk. But fortunately for me, that didn't happen here. This move I'm doing uh, is if you do the somersault and hit attack during it, you fan out and shoot eight shots at once. You have to be really quick on these locks, you have just barely enough room to make that jump. But now that we're out of the waterfall, we're in the downtown area? Oh hey, it's a nun, oh, uh, bye. Well, right? Revenge of Shinobi's kind of a weird game. Um, these female ninjas are dressed like nuns, and these Bruce Lee guys have shoes that block our shuriken. You can take an upper path or a lower path. I actually like the upper path better, but I just wanted to show off the nuns and the Bruce Lee guys. If you think that's weird too, the later levels, just just, just weird shit happens. I, I, this game seems like a bunch of design documents kind of got shuffled together. Anyway, the ninjas are like, well we got the ruse if you nuns and Bruce Lee guys have the ground, and that's like, okay, that works. That's what happens when we restructure in Neo Zed. So, the music's kind of jazzy, it's kind of nice. We're having a good time up here, no big deal. I do have to say, I do like the level of detail they put into this stage. I mean, th there's no need for there to be utility boxes in the background or anything, but Sega didn't cheap out, except when it came to making the guys not walk off the roof like that, but, you know, hey, whatever. Small favors. There's a big heart power up. We're all powered up, we're all ready. I had to do the attack there because it is hard as hell to land there with that friggin' ninja throwing stars there, so screw it. We're going on to our second boss named Shadow Dancer, which is the name of another Shinobi game. And here he is. Um, Shadow Dancer is a pain in the ass because he does this. Well, he, this pattern's easy, but to like. You can obviously jump out of the way, but you can also try to block the projectiles like I'm doing here. And you have to get the timing just right. Once you knock out his after images in this weird disco, he starts shooting four, giant, uh, four throwing stars downward. You can deal with it by going under him and doing what I did, but I just like to hit him from a distance there. And that's round two.